I know it's the middle of June and not the end of May, but what can I say? I'm still working on time travel. <laughs> I wish that was the reason that this video is so late, but time travel, teleportation, there's all kinds of stuff I'm still waiting for, but until then, have to deal with late videos sometimes. <laughs> so this is just going to be kind of my May wrap-up video and kind of my update to let you know what's going on. And then I will do my review video. I like to do them separate just because some people are, are just interested in like quick information, whereas other people are actually interested in the reviews. So you can watch them both or just one. I want to dive into my Goodreads challenge which I am ahead. I'm seven books ahead on my Goodreads challenge. Now, just as a reminder, um, that means titles. It doesn't necessarily mean that I'm reading, you know, novel-length books all the time. Most of them are, but sometimes I'm reading short stories, novellas, graphic novels, picture books. Either way, I'm ahead of my challenge. I have completely abandoned my audiobook challenge, which I think is a little odd because every year, when I'm not trying to make myself listen to audiobooks, I listen to at least two a year. Now, granted, it's only June. I could still listen to some. But as far as my audiobook challenge, which was for me to re listen to an audiobook um, every month, that totally didn't happen. And I've been collecting audiobooks just for this, but that might be a challenge for next year. So let's look and see <laughs> what I read in May. Um, I read how to, hold on, let me get my stuff going. No, I think I'm, yeah, here we go, just move that a little bit. How to publish and promote your book. Now, this was my only five-star read of the month. Um, it has so much information, and it's just a wonderful resource. The next thing is um, Overboard on Ocean, Mala McGee Book 6. This was really good. Um, there were some changes to the characters, not like bad changes or anything like that, just growth, natural like growth and development. But you know how it is. You, you get to like certain things about certain characters, so you're like, you don't want those changes. But it was really good. I think this might be the last book in the series, um, just based on what the author says. I think there is a holiday story after this, but then I think that's it. The next thing that I read was an anthology. Dark Matter, this was a four-star read, um, collection of science fiction stories, and it was so great. Um, I didn't do a full review of this one, but I still gave it four stars. And then the last thing that I read, um, completed anyway, in May was the second book in the True Color series. I met this author in my local area, and I've been um, working my way through her series, and I've been really enjoying it. So. That is what I actually read in May. Let's go back and look at some of the stuff that I'm currently reading. Let's scroll up. Another collection of short stories, a book on writing. And I'm reading George Takai's uh, graphic novel, They Called Us Enemy. And it's basically his um, perspective of the Japanese internment that happened in the United States that people, you know, tried to forget about for a while. <laughs> So that's going to be interesting. Uh, let's get this back up. <laughs> Sorry about that. But um, just, you know, trying to get through this. Not going to make this long. Um, I am going to do my review coming up. Uh, just another quick little update. I have been doing some writing, um, mostly short stuff. But I am, you know, working on a picture book as well and some other little goodies for my patrons to enjoy. Um, May has been a very rough month. June started off rocky, was in a car accident. I'm fine, but I'm slowly getting back into things, and hopefully I'll have some more videos because I have lots of stuff to share coming soon. So until next time, stay safe. Bye, guys.